Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, and we're going to give you hockey picks for the 21st. And we're going to talk about our picks from uh, tonight or last night, depending on when you're watching this, of the 20th. I uh, didn't have picks on the weekend, of course, on here, but if you go over to Patreon app, look for BPAL picks or find it in the link in the description, go over to that. Head over there, tell me you found me on YouTube, and I'll give you a free month. Yeah, free rest of this month, anyways, whatever it is today. Actually, it's getting really close. If you do it now, I'll give you the rest of this month and next month, just for fun. Because uh, so much frolic over there. Anyways, um, the weekend was fantastic. Saturday, we hit really well. Uh we were up. Uh, we were up about four units, something like that. To, I think, three for one on tennis, two and zero on NCAA. Uh, I gotta see. Oh, I forgot to see how we did on UFC, but we have UFC too. So thanks for subscribing to this channel. My gosh, my subscribers are amazing. Helen is uh, getting uh, all the pearls of wisdom necklaces all sewed up. She can barely keep up to them. And then going off to the Perlocopter and out to you. And you can get one too if you hit the subscribe button right now. Right now. Just right now. Do that. And like it if you like it. Namaste, by the way. Namaste. It means peace or something. I don't know. I thought it looked cool. It makes me look like I'm spiritual and shit. So, <laughs> yeah. Got to do something. Okay, I'm going to be giving you quick picks right away for those people. I say right in the title, quick picks within the first five minutes. Here you go, and then we're going to talk about all the picks we did last night. We're going to get into a reason why we're making these picks. And then uh, uh, if, you, if you go over to Patreon, I, I update you all day on goalies and all that kind of stuff like that. So we get it, really nail it. Okay, here's a, the first one is going to amaze you. Sabres PL on the puck line versus the Rangers. Uh, this could be the spot for them. We'll talk about that when we do the whole thing as to why. Uh, Jackets PL under five and a half. Canadians ML over six. Senators on the puck line over six. Islanders money line. Over five and a half. Wild in regulation. Over five and a half. Avalanche. PL on the puck line. Over five and a half. Jets. Winnipeg Jets. ML under six. Blues. ML under six. And Sharks. ML. Over six. And as you can tell, there's quite a few dogs there. Uh, interesting. Uh, we're going to get into why I picked the dogs and stuff like that. But let's go over to last night's, uh, or tonight's, whichever time you're watching this. Uh, probably you'll be watching it in the middle. It'll be morning by the time you watch this, probably. But let's go take a look at it. Okay. Devils versus the Penguins. I was back and forth on this. And whenever I'm back and forth, I should always take the dog. But the big thing is we had the under and for big, big pearls. Uh, I wasn't sure about the line. So we went with the we went with the penguins, but they didn't pull it out. But we had big on the under. And that's the main thing. Uh, Lightning versus Panthers. I can't believe the Panthers didn't win this game. Uh, Lightning were on five games in seven nights. I'm telling you, if they can win this game, they should be wrecking the league because the Panthers are tough to play against, and they had to be exhausted. Not to mention they had McElhaney in. But the most important thing is we had large pearls on the over. We were all over the over on this. That was my main play. Smaller play was... Panthers ML, but we win. We're up on that. We're up on here. We're up on there. We're up about 
two and a half units or something like that, depending on when I do my Patreon thing, I, I don't tell people how many units to bet. Whatever is large for you, medium for you, small for you, whatever it is. That's basically what I do. But if say we're going on three units for a large and half a unit for a small, we're up. Uh, we're up about. You know, three units for so we're up about a unit and a half here. Uh, and uh, for Lightning versus Panthers, we're up about another unit. So that's two and a half units. Golden Knights versus the Kings. Again, we had a large on. No, no, we had. Sorry, we had a larger bet on the Golden Knights to win this game. Uh, Peterson was insane. He's back. To, he's back. I'll be going Kings. I was going on the Kings a lot earlier in the season. Uh, they were getting a little shaky, a little tired, I think. From what I saw, again, with the way Peterson is playing, I'll be going on the Kings more uh, in the future here. Um, but anyways, we did cover our loss with a bet on the under here. So we're about a unit up, something like that. Here's where we not got knocked down. I had the stars here and the under so we're, we ended up being down about two and a half units for the day. But for the weekend, we're up about two units. Oh, for Friday, that's right. So we're up about four units for the weekend. Still up over the weekend. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. We're going to look at tomorrow now. Let's go over to our bets. All right, first one I remember. You must probably all jumped out of your seats. Uh, Buffalo, I got them on the puck line. Because if there's a place, and if you want to go for a freaking, if you want to reach for the stars, if there's a place for Buffalo to win, this is the place. The Rangers are just playing like ridiculous amounts of hockey lately. Um Rangers are playing. Well, that's last. I should have this ready before we get started. <laughs> the Rangers are playing. One, two, three, four, and six all on the road. Just had a tough one against the Capitals. I'm not so I wouldn't put a lot on it. Four and six. The thing is, is Carter Hutton is in that Buffalo has had time to Buffalo had two days off now and are gonna play at home. And there just has to be a spot for them somewhere along the way here. Um it could be right here. I wouldn't put a lot on it. Uh because as long as this Carter Hutton's in net, I mean I, I don't like taking Buffalo, but I, I don't like the Rangers much more than money line, and you're not getting much for them. So maybe fade the game altogether. Uh, I I wouldn't even be surprised. There's probably going to be people out there that are so dead on Hutton that they still go the Rangers in regulation, and you can make a case for that for sure. Very tough game. Carolina versus Columbus. Uh Columbus is back. Uh, the, the the play I, the play here is probably the total and the under. Uh, Nedeljkovic should be in for Carolina. Columbus should be going against Merzlikens, going with Merzlikens. And they had this three days off to work with uh, their new players, and they just played against Carolina, and Columbus looked back, back to the way we know Columbus can play. If they are, I wouldn't. Surprise you that it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a bad play to take them on the money line. The problem is we have the revenge factor. Carolina's lost a few in a row now. Um, they got to be hungry here, so I think it'll be close. Carolina will probably pull it out, but I think it'll be very close, and I'd be looking at the at the spread. Uh, take. Uh, Columbus, take Carolina and uh, Columbus under. Uh, two really good goaltenders. Columbus playing, they're playing right now. They're going to be doing a lot of unders. 
And then add a little juice to it with a small bet on the puck line for Columbus. It's only half your money, but if you want to add a little juice to your bet, that's the way I would go. Um, Montreal versus, or Edmonton versus Montreal. Edmonton just traveled a crap load. Uh, again, really watch travels. I highly recommend you to watch travels. Uh, they just finished playing at home versus the Jets on a back-to-back -back tough games. Travel to Montreal all the way from Edmonton, going through time zones. And I think Smith will likely be playing here um, if they go with uh, Koskinen, because Smith, you know, I don't know how much they want. I don't know how they want to go back and forth with Smith and Koskinen. It's a little odd here. I definitely like the Habs here. Um, I know the Habs aren't been hitting on all cylinders, but it's just a lot to expect from a team, even though a team is kind of rolling like the Oilers, to be able to have be full bore after all that travel and then playing in Montreal. Um, so I'm taking Montreal for a small bet because Carey Price has been playing terrible. What are they giving to us for a total here? Six. I got to go over. Yeah, I got to go over. Over is probably the play. Over is probably the most secure play. As you can see, I'm hesitating with Montreal because Price has been really that bad. Especially if Koskinen is in. I like the over here. And a small bet on Montreal. Just because Edmonton is going to be so tired. Edmonton is going to be so tired. Okay, Calgary versus Ottawa. This is a really, again, this is a tough card. Calgary is the same way. They just also traveled. If we go back here, as you can see, these are the dates. They just also traveled from Winnipeg. Had a day. You say, well, they had a day off, but that's all travel. And through time zones. And now they have a game against Ottawa, who's a very hardworking team. Markstrom will likely be in net. The thing that puts a whole chink in this idea of taking Ottawa, though, is that they are likely going to have to have Anton Forsberg in net. That messes up everything for me. <laughs> I, 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 Anton Forsberg is a huge question mark. Uh, when he played in Carolina, he didn't look too good too often. Um, Calgary is, is tired. They're probably going to try to shoot a lot on him early and try to get ahead. And then as the game goes, if Ottawa can hold out, they probably can start beating up the Flames and be able to score a couple. So I kind of like Ottawa on the puck line here. Um, just because they can come back later. But I'm not betting a lot on this game. I'm certainly not going Calgary PL or something like that. Um Calgary in regulation, being that tired against the tough Ottawa team, is, a, is to me a risky bet. Calgary ML makes some sense, but look what you're probably getting. Oh, you're not getting bad. You're not getting bad on the ML. But what are you, what are you getting on uh, the, the spread for about the same? It's either Calgary ML or Ottawa PL, whichever one you feel like. Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure because Forsberg is such an X factor for this game. He could get he could let in three three goals and six shots. Or he could stop his you know, if he stops his eight point eight average on twenty shots from from a tired Calgary team or twenty five shots, he lets in two and a half and Ottawa gets two, three. It definitely would seem like an under to me. What are they giving you? Six? It would seem like an under to me. But even that's tough because, like I said, Forsberg has shown to be not very good in situations like this. So 
I'm going to say under, and I'm going to say Ottawa PL for now. New York Islanders versus the Flyers. No Couturier for the Philadelphia Flyers. No defense for the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, are they going to keep on rolling with Carter Hart all day? I don't know. Um, I got to go with the Islanders. I just can't go with the Philadelphia Flyers. And I'm going to go with the over because Philadelphia can't seem to stop it from being over. And if Philadelphia is going to win this, it's going to be an over for sure. So the odds are it'll be an over. Um, the Islanders could do go into lockdown mode here, but I think that there's so much, uh, they're so confident in being able to beat Philadelphia's defense that they'll play more aggressive than normal and probably push this to an over. I think every game almost they played has been an over. So over. Anaheim versus Minnesota. I got to go Minnesota on the puck line here. Anaheim is just not good anymore. It's, they're playing without Lindholm and Manson. They've got guys, young guys be playing right now that are getting pooched out. They're not used to playing in the NHL, and they're playing a lot of games. Uh, I'm going over five and a half. I think Minnesota will just crush here, honestly. After that p tough game, two, two tough games against Colorado where they got outshot a lot, they're going to be hungry here, I believe, and uh, I think they're going to score a lot. Um Talbot is in net for sure, and he's been playing well. So I, 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 the over is not my best bet because Anaheim might not score enough to push it over. But Minnesota puck line, which should give you about over two, somewhere over two. Colorado versus Arizona. I'm going Colorado here. Arizona is, they played, they beat Anaheim last time they played. But overall, this team is falling behind. Every game, it seems. And Colorado is just crushing it, crushing it, crushing it. I'm taking Colorado on the puck line. Um, so over two, somewhere around there. Uh, and uh, over is Ranta going to be in that? Ranta was in for la the last game. I don't like it. I just don't like the total here. Ranta can stop pucks for days. I slightly lean to the over. I'll give you that. Vancouver, Winnipeg. Um, what do we know about this one? Oh, yeah, the Jets. Uh, I got to go with the Jets. And I can't remember why. Uh, let's go down. Let's see if we can see anything with... Uh, why did I want to go with the Jets here? The Jets are playing way too much. Or is this? No, no, sorry. Much March 22nd. Okay, let's get back here to. That's why. Oh, I can't. I can't go backwards for some reason on the weekly schedule. Again, it's doing this to me again. Okay. Anyways, I'm taking Winnipeg. Um, I believe it was the amount of, of games that were played by both. And uh, Winnipeg has just a little bit, looks like they're going to be a little less tired. Um, I might rethink that one. That's a tough one. But for now, I'm going Jets ML and under six because Demko is going to be in and, and uh, Hellebuck is going to be in. And they're both like on fire right now. Blues ML I'm taking the Blues because Vegas are on a back-to-back. -back. Uh, Laner should be in. Ben Bennington should be in. Vegas is playing, playing. Oh, yeah, but Vegas is also playing five games in seven nights again. Now, that burnt me with Tampa Bay, but it usually doesn't. Uh, St. Louis has had a little bit of rest. They should be going gung-ho for this game. Um, also, who is injured? Pacioretty is injured for Vegas. Um I'm not very confident. I wouldn't put huge on this, but it's nice juice and a good spot for St. Louis. Um, I'm still going to, I'm going to lean the under still just because Vegas is really, really tired. However, Laner will probably stop enough to keep it under and Bennington should stop enough to stop a tired Vegas team. 
to keep it on the under, but I'm not confident about that either. So I'm probably not putting a lot on either one of these. Los Angeles, San Jose. Uh, quick is going to be in that for the thing I like most about here. I don't know what the odds are going to be. It's probably going to be six is probably the over. And uh, I, I have San Jose ML here. But I'm probably going to go back and forth on that. The main thing is I would definitely go the over here. That's my full 42, boys and girls. That's all I have to give today. Come check me out tomorrow and check out my show. 3 to 5 Eastern on this channel. Five days a week. We talk about, we do predictions, fun predictions. Everybody does fun predictions. We talk about our predictions. We give away fabulous prizes. And we just talk hockey, whatever it is that goes on. It's fun, 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 fun. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.